magandang araw ho sa inyong lahat. At uh, ngayong uh, umaga ay uh, pag-usapan po natin ang salita ng Panginoon uh, mula sa aklat ng Isaiah. At um, ngayon ho ay uh, ginugunigyan natin ang muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoon. At uh, titingnan ho natin ang ilang mga salita ng Panginoon na binanggit sa kanyang aklat, Isaiah. No? Ito po ay patungkol sa uh, ating buhay ng Pangino, ating Panginoon Jesus sumunod ito. Uh, babasahin ko po dito sa Isaiah chapter 53 uh, Samahan niyo po ako, basahin natin ang, um, ang, ang buong chapter na ito Isaiah chapter 53 Sabi ko dito Who has believed what we have heard? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a young plant And like a root out of dry ground He didn't have an impressive form or majesty that we should look at him. No appearance of that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men. A man of suffering who knew what sickness was. Sickness was. He was like someone people turned away from. He was despised and we didn't, didn't value him. Yet he himself bore our sicknesses, and he carried our pains. But we, in turn, regard him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced because of our rebellion, crushed because of our iniquities. Punishment for our peace was on him, we are, and we are healed by his word. We all went astray like sheep. We all have turned to our own way. And the Lord has punished him for the equity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb led to the slaughter, and like a sheep silent before her shears. He did not open his mouth. He was taken away because of of oppression and judgment and who was considered his faith for he was cut off from the land of the living he was struck he was struck because of my people's rebellion he was assigned a grave with the wicked but he was with the rich man and his death because he had done no violence and had not spoken deceitfully yet The Lord was pleased, crushed him severely. When you make him a gift, when you make him a gift offering, he will see his seed, he will prolong his days, and by his hand the Lord's pleasure will be accomplished. After his anguish, he will see the light and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will carry their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him the many as a portion, and he will receive the mighty as spoil, because he willingly submitted to death and was counted among the rebels, yet he bore the sin of many and interceded for the rebels. Pagpalain po ng Panginoon ang kanyang salita tayo po magalaan. Ama namin ba nalang pagpalain niyo po ang salita na na ihayag sa aming kalagitnaan? Salamat Panginoon. Once again, you reminded us of what you've done in the cross. Lord God, salamat because uh, binayaran niyo na po lahat. Fully paid na po, Panginoon. It's because of your flesh and blood na nagkapira-piraso at nabuhos sa krus na kalbari para sa kapatawaran ng isang katawan. Ito po yung lupos namin ang pinapasalamatan sa pangalan ng Jesus. Amen. At uh, ito pong Isaiah chapter 53. Ito po uh, mga kapatid ang uh, pag-prophesy ni Prophet Isaiah sa magiging buhay na ating tagapagligtas na si Jesus, no? Sinabi niya kung ano ang mga mangyayari sa buhay ni Jesus, no? Na nasabi niya dito, um dinescribe niya pa kung ano yung looks ni Jesus Christ ko at kung paano siya i-despise, paano siya parusahan, paano siya paano siya uh, kutyain ng mga tao dahil sa pagkamisaya niya dahil sa kanyang taga, dahil sa pagiging ating tagapagligtas na po at um, 
Nais ko pong uh, ibahagi sa inyo uh, na bakit po human po sa ganito? No? Bakit po kinailangan, ano po? Bakit po kinailangan ialay ni Jesus ang kanyang buhay, no? Meron po ako nga uh, kaibigan, no? Syempre, uh, nanggaling ko sa nanggaling ko sa Mindanao, no? At alam niyo man po yung mga yung mga Bisaya, no? Ako Bisaya. Alam niyo po ang mga Bisaya, uh, kapag ka napunta ng Tagalog, no? Mahirap sa aming uh, mahirap sa aming managalugan, no? Kasi baka hindi na hindi kami makasugakon, no? And so, mahirap, no? At um, one time, nag nag preach No, nagpipreach itong aking kaibigan at sa kanyang magpipreach, nagsishare siya ng gospel, sabi niya, nagpakamatay si Jesus para sa'yo. No? At at uh, some point, kaya nang siya. Kaya bro, hindi nagpakamatay si Jesus. No? Hindi inialay niya. No? There is difference between sa nagpakamatay at namatay o inalay ng Panginoon ang kanyang buhay. Wherein, sa passage na ito, inialay po ng Panginoon. Hindi mo nagpakamatay ang Panginoon, kundi inialay niya, ibinigay, puso niyang ibinigay ang kanyang buhay para sa kaligtasan ng isang kataon. Makikita po natin dito sa Isaiah chapter 53 kung, uh, kung paano po inialay ng Panginoon ang kanyang buhay. Ngayon po, pag-uusapan natin uh, sa mga susunod na panahon na uh, bakit po humantong sa ganito? No? Bakit po humantong sa ito? Now, we are celebrating yung resurrection ng Jesus Christ. And one week ago, no, one week ago, sinecelebrate uh sinecelebrate ng 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 mga Israelita yung pagdating ni Jesus at uh, may mga dala-dala silang mga palaspas, no? And one week later, yung acclamation, no, na claim niya si Jesus Christ, yung acclamation turned to be accusation. Now, this time, um, uh, Thursday, no, uh, nagplat, nagplat ang mga, ang mga, ang mga, uh, nag, nag, nagplat ang mga pariseyo upang uh, ipahuli si Jesus. At uh, napakalaki, napakalaki mo ng ng bintang nila sa kanya, no? Ah, uh, syempre hindi naman madaling hindi madaling ipahuli ang tao walang kasalanan. At dahil uh, at dahil maraming napakaraming tagasunod si Jesus during that time, maraming nakikinig sa kanyang mensahe. Pumunta siya sa gilid ng Mount Olives, nagpi-preach ng salita ng Panginoon at maraming mga tao sumusunod sa kanya. At sinakyan ito ng mga ng mga pariseo, no? At sinabi, sinabi na um, Si Jesus, no? Ay nagpaplano ng isang rebelyon, no? At sinumbong nila ito kay 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 Pilato, no? Na si Jesus daw ay nagpaplano ng isang rebelyon at kailangan maparusahan, kailangan uh, maparusahan ng kamatayan, no? At uh, ito po ay ay uh, kung titingnan natin, bakit pumantong sa ganito? No? Bakit kailangan pumantong sa ganito? Pero ito po ay Napaka, na, napapaloob sa dakilang plano ng Panginoon. Papaloob sa dakilang plano ng Panginoon. Ano pong plano ng Panginoon? Ang kaligtasan ng pangkataon. No? Yun po yung yung, yung, yung yung dakilang plano ng Panginoon. The great plan. The plan of the ages. To save yung mga tao hindi pa nakakakilala sa Panginoon. Now, Now, una ho, ang tanong ito, who was responsible for Jesus dying on the cross? Sino pong responsable sa pagkamatay ni Jesus? No? Sino pong who was responsible for Jesus dying on the cross? No? The Romans? No? Is the Romans responsible? Is Pontius Pilate responsible? The Jewish mob? Yung mga tao? No? Si Herodes? Is he responsible? Judas Iscariot? Is Judas Iscariot responsible for the death of Jesus Christ? Or was it Satan himself? No? And by this time, we can point fingers. No? 
na pwede natin sabihin na si Pontius Pilate, yung James Mab, yung mga Perseo, o, o si Herodes, at pwede tayo makapagsabi na ito, sila, sila yung, sila yung, yung dahilan kung bakit napako namatay si Jesus. At maaaring sabihin din natin na maaaring tayo. Sabihin natin na walang ibang walang ibang dahilan kung bakit naipako, napako si Jesus, namatay si Jesus sa krus, kundi dahil sa atin. And we all know, no? Bakit ito? Because we all have sin. And we all have sin, no? Perhaps, sinasabi natin, it was us. All of sinful, sinful mankind. No? It was us. For if weren't for our own sin, He would not have needed to be. No? Para sinasabi natin, tayo yun. Tayo ang dahilan kung bakit namatay si Jesus. And that's right. Tama po yun. No? Na dahil sa ating mga kasalanan, dahil sa ating pagsuway sa plano ng Panginoon, dahil sa paglayo natin sa kalooban ng Panginoon, dahil gusto natin sundin yung sarili nating desire, nabulog tayo sa bitag ng kaway. And by that, kinailangan po natin ng Savior. No? So, kinailangan po ni Jesus no? na iligtas ang isang katawan. Bakit ito? Dahil nabulog tayo mula sa plano ng Panginoon. And very truly, okay, very truly po, no, totoo po, no, there were many hands, okay, that had a part in holding the hammer which pounded the nails in Jesus. Napakarami po mga kamay ang humawak ng martilyo at pumukpok doon sa pako na naka, nakapako sa kamay ni Jesus. At maaaring isa tayo sa mga may hawak-hawak ng martilyo dahil sa ating mga kasalanan, pumukpok ng martilyo. Okay? Pumukpok ng martilyo upang mas bumaon ang pako na nandoon sa kamay ni Jesus. Ngunit, tatanungin natin, okay? But what I'm asking This day, okay, who was ultimately responsible for Jesus going to the cross? Is it us? Is it I? Is it He? Sino po yung ultimate responsible for Jesus going to the cross, laying down His own, own life for our sins? Laying down His own life for our salvation. Who was the ultimate responsible? No? Whose idea was it? Kanino hong idea? Kanino hong saan ho nagsimula ang kaisipang ito na, na kailangan iligtas? No? Sa atin ba? Who was idea? Okay? Whose idea was it? Who was the architect of the cross? Kino ho ba ang may gawa? Sino ho ba ang may design? Kino ho ba ang idea ito? No? Was it us? Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 19. No, tingnan mo natin dito sa sa aklat ng uh, Panginoon. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 19. Sabi ko dito, that is in Christ God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them. And He has omitted the message of reconciliation to us. Now, who was the mastermind? Is it us? Whose ultimate idea was this? Verse 19, that is in Christ, God was reconciling. Okay, God was reconciling the world to himself. It is God's own initiative. No? It is God's own initiative to reconcile us to himself. So, kanino hong plano ito? Plano ho ng Panginoon. No? God was 
in Christ, reconciling the world to himself. Who was in charge of the proceedings on the hill of Calvary? God himself. It was his idea. Now, tignan ho natin dito. Uh, tignan ho natin yung ilang mga facts na nagsasabi na uh, ito po ay idea ng Panginoon. Okay? These amazing facts that the Word of God declares. One, John 3.16. Alam ko natin, alam, alam ko ho na alam ng bawat isa sa atin. God sent His Son into the world. It was His idea. Okay? It was His idea. Hindi sinabi doon na, God, can you please send your son to save us? No. It's God. It's God's own initiative. God sent His Son, okay, to the world. Pangalawa, God prepared His Son for the mission. Pangatlo, God drew His Son to the cross. And God placed His Son on the altar. Isaiah 53:10. Verse 10. Ano pong sinasabi dito? Yet the Lord was pleased to crush him severely. God was pleased to to crush him severely. When you make him a guilt offering, he will he will see his seeds. He will prolong his days. Now, yet yeah, kita na natin dito. God will crush him. He was offered to the altar. When you make him a guilt offering. Now, when when someone make a guilt offering, ito po ay para sa altar. No? And so, Jesus was. No? He was an offering para sa ating mga kasalanan. It was God's plan. It was God's own purpose. And then the Father, God the Father, took all of the sin of the whole world and the guilt and vile sin occurred in all of man's rotten history and He laid it squarely on the shoulder of Jesus Christ. He took, he took all of our sins and laid on Jesus' shoulder. Jesus carried our sins. Amazing. Pinasan po ng Panginoon ang lahat ng ating mga kasalanan. Ang makita ko natin dyan, 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, For He hath made Him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God. Who was the idea? Was it? God himself. Whose initiative? God himself. God himself. So, who was responsible for Jesus dying on the cross? It was in God's plan. Para po iligtas ang sangka It was in God's plan for for, for the salvation of humankind. Why did God do all this? Why did God, why did Jesus gave Himself? Tatanong natin, Lord, bakit pa kailangan gawin ito? Bakit, bakit pa kailangan ialay ng Panginoon ng kanyang buhay? Sa araw ito, ginugunit natin ng kanyang muling pagkabuhay resurrection. Bakit bakit pa kailangan ibigay niya, ialay niya ang kanyang buhay sa kapatawan? This is this is the answer because of love. Wala na akong ibang dahilan. It's all because of love. For God so loved the world. See, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The word love Ito po yung nagda-drive ng lahat. Because God loved us 
so much. No? Lagi kong ako sinasabi sa mga young people, no? kahit hindi ka kamahal-mahal, no? mahal ka pa rin ng Panginoon. May nagmamahal sa atin, mahal pa rin ng Panginoon. God love us so much to the extent that He gave His only begotten Son for us to be saved. Now, now the question is, alam natin that God loves us so much, then what should we do? What should be our response? Okay? First, okay, this should be our response. Okay? To those who have never repented, who, to those who have never repented and put, repented their sins and put their faith and trust in Jesus to be the Savior, to those people who do not repent their sins and put their faith in Jesus Christ as their Savior, you must come to the cross. You must come. Just come. Come to the cross. Accept Jesus Christ as Lord, your Lord and personal Savior. Believe in the gospel, God's story. Okay? Believe in the gospel, God's story, no? sa pag-save with Jesus sa iyong mankind. Okay? Um, you know what? It's all because of the love of God. It's all because of the love of God. At ang gospel, hindi lang doon sa ah, receive and accept. No? This is the gospel. To Jesus Christ, no? came down from heaven, namuhay ng katulad ng 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 sino mang tao na buhay ng parang na, namuhay ng isang ng buhay ng isang tao pero magkakaiba sa kanya kailanman hindi siya nagkasala kailanman hindi nagkasala ang Panginoon dahil dahil siya ay Diyos at hindi pwede sa kanya ang, ang kasalanan no at um hinuli siya pinagpira-pirso ang kanyang katawan ipinako sa pus na matay Pinilibing at muling na buhay. That is the gospel. Yung buong kwento ni Jesus Christ sa pagliktas niya sa lahat ng sangkatawan. Many times, may mga nagsishare ng gospel, no? Uh, namatay, namatay si Jesus, inialay ni Jesus ang kanyang buhay para sa iyo. Yes, that is true. But hindi na, hindi lang nagtatapos doon. Hindi lang siya namatay para ialay ang kanyang buhay. So, muli rin siyang nabuhay, nabuhay siya pang muli, na-resurrect si Jesus Christ para ipakita no, na meron siyang power na talunin yung kapangyarihan ng kasalanan sa buhay ng bawat tao sa mundo ito. He was resurrected. no, He can never be our Savior kung namatay lang siya sa ating mga kasalanan at hindi siya nabuhay muli. He was a Savior because He rose again. He was a savior because he rose again. Maraming pwedeng, kahit sinong tao, pwedeng, pwedeng, pwedeng ialay na kanyang buhay para kasalanan mo. Pero si Jesus lang na ang nag-alay na kanyang buhay. And then, nabuhay na muli. Na, na resume. So, for those who have not yet repented their sins and put their faith in Jesus Christ, just come to the cross. Just come to Jesus Christ. Accept Him as your Lord and personal Savior. Believe in the gospel the story of Jesus Christ in saving people's life. Now, para ho doon sa mga mananampalataya, okay? Para ho doon sa mga mananampalataya, we are called to live constantly in the shadow of the cross. Para sa ating mga mananampalataya, we must live constantly in the shadow of the cross. We will not live a life that is self-centered life. We will go hungry for God. Seek His face. Seek the cross. Seek the characteristic of Jesus Christ. Ipakita yung fruit of the Spirit. Ipakita yung fruit of the Spirit. We, we must live a Christ-centered life. So following the cross. Following the Kaya po mga kapatid, salamat po sa, sa salita ng Pahinoon ng Hesa ng ating kalagitan. At uh, I pray to God that 
this this season of uh, trials okay this season of trials whether salt grow in our faith and we, and that growth in our faith with our soul humility in the sight of God. Salamat po at uh, uh, pagpalain po tayo ang